A hybrid of a fairy, a witch, and a cyborg. Ready to die with the red dirt of Mars beneath her feet? Pretty much Musk dream girl. Elon Musk met Grimms over Twitter and clearly they were able to quickly connect on an intellectual level. After discovering that they both came up with the same pun relating to Rococo in the thought experiment Rocco's Basilisk. Rocco's Basilisk is the name of a virtually all-powerful but rogue artificial intelligence. Elon and Grimms went public with their relationship at the 2018 Met Gala in New York which had a Catholic theme. She was wearing a headpiece made of Vanna Black, the blackest black that anything could be. Yeah, she's pretty special, that's for sure. She's one of the most unusual people I've ever met, Musk says with his lilting South African accent. If you want to get to know the quirky, boundary-breaking Canadian musician, then buckle up because it will be a wild ride. And if you enjoyed this video, you got to destroy the like button or the love button. Don't forget to subscribe and click that bell. The 33-year-old Claire Elise Boucher, better known by her stage persona and character Grimms, is a Canadian singer, songwriter, musician, producer, artist, and music video director. She is of Cubico's Ukrainian and Russian descent. Born and raised in Vancouver, she first became involved with the underground music scene and began recording her own experimental music while attending McGill University in Montreal where she studied neuroscience. Grimms was raised by her mother, a former prosecutor, and her father, a former banker. She also has two brothers and stepbrothers who rap under the name Jay Worthy and motivated her to be a competitive child. While Grimm's relationship with her siblings obviously had an impact on her, she also had a memorable grandfather. The star explained that while visiting her grandpa during college, she wanted to keep her safe from the vagrants he hired for work on his property. So he locked her in a shipping container with a pistol. Grimm's youth also included Catholic school where she was bullied, perhaps because she went through a Wiccan phase in seventh grade. However, she says that she stopped doing witchcraft after casting a spell that resulted in a rosary crumbled in her hands, which she understandably found really scary. When the star went to Montreal's McGill University in 2006, she thought she was going to be an astrophysicist. Her seemingly daunting studies included a double major in philosophy and the science side of psychology, with minors in Russian language in a field called electroacoustics, a realm of neuroscience concerned with the way the brain processes noise. During her study, she began to record and perform under the name Grimm's, taking the name from Grimm Music after discovering the existence of the genre on MySpace. However, as Grimm's became a more serious endeavor for her, she began to miss a large number of classes and began only attending to exams, resulting in the university taking punitive actions against her and ultimately expelling her. In Montreal, she began putting on concerts with her friends at Lab Syntheses, a performance space they started which was located in an abandoned textile factory. Grimms' music is varied, including an eclectic mix of styles such as art pop, synth pop, witch house, baroque pop, and dark wave. She was described as an alien love child of Aphex Twin and ABBA. If you've ever seen one of Grimms' videos, you'll know that she likes to use her body to express herself creatively in the same way that she uses her music too. One of the reasons she's likely so comfortable with exploring and embracing entertainment movements is due to the fact that she spent 10 years studying ballet. Grimms is also a visual artist who creates all the art for her albums, illustrates her own merch, and has even had her work shown in galleries. Her art is influenced by Japanese anime, manga, and comic artists such as Charles Burns and Daniel Klaus. In fact, Boucher only started developing her fine art techniques because she wanted to mimic the drawing styles of anime and manga like the Sailor Moon series that became popular in the United States in the 90s. Grimms may have been born in Canada, however, as an adult, she made her home in the United States. 
in 2018, the singer scored a discount from the $2 million property was on the market for when she picked up a 3,721 square foot residence in Pasadena, California. Pasadena and the surrounding environments are becoming an increasingly desirable residential choice for celebrities. Meryl Streep and Kristen Wiig bought in Pasadena within the past year, and Eva Mendez and Ryan Gosling are or were shopping for a large home in the area. The first thing to note about the Grimm's property is that the house does not have a garage. Oh dear, where will baby girl charge her Tesla? The house has a commodious but not huge 3,721 square feet of living space with five beds and three bathrooms, and the seller was a non-famous Chinese woman. The double front doors swing open to a proper entrance hall lined with a dreadfully dated beige tiles. Beyond the hall is a large office or study with views of the arroyo, and off to the left is a large living room with a fireplace, wet bar, and views galore. The house is perched on a steep cliffside overlooking the Ario Forest area, native oak trees and such. It's a lovely setting and the property is admirably private. However, as of March 2020, she was living with Elon Musk in one of the multiple Los Angeles properties owned by her boyfriend. Grimms is a creative force, an intriguing star, and a rather rich woman who's estimated to have $3 million in net worth. While she's obviously doing fine on her own, her fortune is nothing compared to Elon Musk's $185 billion. Grimms also noted that she doesn't accept any of Musk's money to fund her work because his fortune is supposedly devoted to essential projects. As she declared to the outlet, Grimms is funded by Grimms, adding, I don't want to divert funds from like Tesla to my stupid art project. I can't say the things I say and believe what I believe and then take money from my boyfriend. Grimms has stated that she is vegetarian unless she deems it inconvenient for others to cater to her nutritional needs. My stepdad is Hindu and never had meat, so it was very easy for me growing up. There would always be vegan food around, told Grimms. It's very political for me. But also, to be honest, I have no idea how to cook meat. However, while Grimm's might be vegan, that doesn't mean she enjoys eating healthily. I actually dislike vegetables, pointedly, but they're important to eat. It's just vile. Like broccoli? It's actually disgusting. I don't know how anyone eats it, said Grimm's. The singer talked about what she was eating during her pregnancy and revealed that she hates fruit and vile vegetables. Instead, her typical menu includes caffeinated cubes, butter toast, and sludge. Yes, couscous sludge. It's a weirdly good, but also kind of gross. Grimm's had an interesting relationship with gender. She was raised in a house with four brothers. She wasn't raised as a boy, but she was not just raised as a girl. Grimm's posted a written statement addressing her experience as a female musician in an industry rife with sexism and expressed disappointment that her feminist stance was often interpreted as anti-male. This attitude is perhaps why Grimm's intends to embrace gender-neutral parenting when it comes to raising her baby XAI. The gender-neutral parenting or a raising a child without assigning them specific boy or girl labels, clothes, toys, or other gendered cues is still a fairly new concept in a world where gender-revealed parties and pink and blue baby clothes abound. Grimm's previously gave fans some insight into what their son's unique name meant, explaining on Twitter that X represents the unknown variable and AI, my elven spelling of AI, love and artificial intelligence. She went on to share that part of the name is a nod to the CIA's Lockheed A-12 reconnaissance plane, which has no weapons, no defenses, just speed. Great in battle, but non-violent. The A in the name also represents Archangel, which she said is her favorite song, while the number 12 stood for the Chinese zodiac sign of the rat. I hope you guys had fun and enjoyed this video. If you did, you gotta destroy the like button or the love button for the YouTube algorithm and for Grimms. Don't forget to subscribe and click that bell. If you wanna know more about Elon Musk's life, click on our exclusive Elon Musk playlist on the watch next. Thanks for watching, see you in another mind-blowing video.